<laughs> my new Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon came in. Uh, and we're gonna unbox it. So, uh, let's grab a tool and dig in. Uh, I'm really excited. It's a big box. Packing materials. I'm gonna have to put this on the ground to take it out. All right, got rid of the box. The reviews are crazy on these things. Um, I did order the AMS. That is not in the box. I think that's coming with a separate shipment. Hopefully I get it soon. Um, AMS is the multi color holder on top, multi-filament holder, so you can print multiple colors in one print. Quick start guy. It says you're not supposed to use TPU in the AMS or cardboard spools. I got one cardboard spool up there, but everything else is plastic. It's supposed to come with the AMS. Looks like the AMS is inside the printer. All right, cool. I thought I was confused. Must have been uh, damaged shipping or something. There's a little dent right there. So I was just about to upload this video to YouTube and the mail came in and I had contacted Bamboo about the dent in the carbon and they sent me a whole new panel uh, with no dent in it. So I'll install it. And also for my troubles and as a little bit of a sorry, they they sent me two <laughs> spools of uh, PLA, so uh, I'm pretty happy. Thanks, Bamboo. Just tear the inner seal and take off the protective back. Back to the instructions. Take out the accessory box and use an Allen key to remove the screws. So. Here's the accessory box. We've got our screen in here. We've got some tools, power cord, data cable, I believe, our nozzle, Allen wrenches. Might be better to put it on my workbench. Nice. So there are red arrows pointing to those two screws we need to remove. Left loose, right tight. Now it should just uh, come straight out now that I undid those screws. Packaging out. Comes right out. And there is the AMS. Page two. Remove the four screws that the arrows indicate. The one, two, three, four screws that hold this, they call it the um, cushion, AMS cushion. It supports it in shipping, I'm sure. There are two cords it came with for data. Data. We've got uh, a four pin and a six pin. The AMS, we need the back. It just sets on top. I think you put the glass on. Now we're cooking. A six pin. Goes in the six pin here. And it says it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. Either six pin will work. Alright, so this is the four pin here. Oh, got it wrong. Boom. So obviously I need to connect the AMS filament feeder tube to the printer. 
think it goes in this hole here, but I'm double checking. I was right. Uh, Bamboo has a really nice uh, wiki page. Time to turn it back around. Remove the three screws. So there's one here, one back here, and one on the side. And there's one, two, three. The screen. Next it says to download the Bamboo Handy app and register and log in to my Bamboo account. Hey, I actually downloaded it today already and logged in because I have a Bamboo account. Um, connect the printer to power. Three, two, one. It's working. English. North, North America. North America. Sure, I'll help join the program. Printer needs to calibrate for the current environment. Next, here we go, calibrating. Looks like calibration is complete. Took about 15 minutes. Uh, let's see what's next. Dart printing. I guess it's all set. All right, so Bamboo gave me like three half spools of uh, PLA filament. We've got PLA basic in a nice green. Uh, support for PLA only used for support interface. I'm not sure what that means. And then um, PLA CF in black. I don't know what CF means, but we got a matte finish. These spools are apparently reusable which is cool. So I'm gonna keep those around. Google, what is PLACF? Carbon fiber reinforced PLA? Interesting. Let's use this green. This is regular PLA basic. First time loading it in. I think you just It was just detect it. Oh. Ooh. Holy God, you gotta give it a little. Boom. Bunch of cool preloaded things in here an iPhone stand, mini tray, um, screw gauge, cool vase. It's cool. Uh, Spartan soldier. I just want to do. I gotta do the benchy. Print now. So my first print in my new uh, X1 Carbon is done. That <laughs> looks so nice. Wow, that is cool. I mean, it's just a Benchy, but that is really good quality. Uh, I have never, I have never seen such good quality yet. Uh, I've been printing with an Ender 3 Pro and this has, completely demolished my expectations of what 3D print should look like. <laughs> I am happy with the first print. Looking forward to my next one. Here are a couple reasons why I upgraded from my Ender 3 Pro to the X1 Carbon. I really needed something with auto bed leveling. Ender 3 Pro does not have that. I was getting great prints uh, in a 3x3 or a 4x4 area, but once you got to the edges of the print bed, it kind of fell off and warped. I'll show you what I mean. This is a first prototype I printed on the Ender 3 Pro. You can see how there's kind of a curve here. The, <laughs> the corner comes up because the bed uh, 
it doesn't have auto bed leveling. And then in turn, that made these circles turn into an oval shape. This is the same file printed on the X1 Carbon from Bamboo Lab. It came out so much better. Everything is straight and squared and the holes are circle and not oval. Very, very satisfied with this print. The Ender 3 Pro has some sentimental value. It was a gift and my first 3D printer. I've learned a lot of things from that that I probably wouldn't have learned if I got this first. Also heard through all the reviews that you don't spend time tinkering with your machine when you get the bamboo, uh, a bamboo printer. Uh, you spend your time printing and instead and designing and prototyping instead of uh, constantly tweaking things. I didn't want to be constantly tweaking things on my machine. I just wanted it to work. And so that narrowed it down to uh, three printers from Bamboo for me. I wanted a Core XY for speed and accuracy. So that means uh, that means the bed goes up and down rather than the bed moving back and forth. Narrowed it down to the P1P, the P1S, and the X1 Carbon. I knew I was eventually going to upgrade to uh, the AMS, the multi-material uh, system up here because it's kind of a luxury for me. I don't really need it, but it's pretty cool to have uh, a print with multiple colors in, in the same print. Oh, I just wanted to future-proof what I wanted. So really it came down to the P1S with the AMS system and the X1 Carbon. And the reason I went with the Carbon is because of the camera. All the reviews I saw online, the camera in the P1S was very, wasn't very good. It was kind of janky. And because I'm making YouTube videos, I wanted to be able to record time lapses of everything I print so you guys can see them and uh, have it come out good. So that's why I went up to the X1 Carbon. I'm super excited about using it and you guys are gonna see a lot of it in all my upcoming videos. So stay tuned.